Yost is the president of Management Training of VC. He is also an, an adjunct professor of management at the Northern Virginia Community College. He is a senior business leader in high technology, medicine, nonprofit, and new media consulting. Mr. Yost is also a licensed agent of for the William Unkin Corporation and the Managing Management Time Seminars, of which I actually went to one when you uh, when Mr. Unkin held it here this winter. So it was very wonderful. Mr. Yost is a freelance columnist for the Business and Media Institute and has been published by Scripps Howard, National Review Online, The Business Monthly, The Women's Quarterly, and many other outlets. Mr. Yost served as a gubernational appointee in the administration of Governor James Gilmore in the Commonwealth of Virginia. During his tenure in state government, he acted as the Chief Technology Officer for the Secretary of Health and Human Resources, where he was responsible for the successful year 2000 Y2K conversion for the 16,000 employee unit. Mr. Yost is a former captain in the United States Army, having served in combat arms. He earned an MBA from George Mason University and completed graduate work at the International Operations Management Program at Oxford University. Please welcome Mr. Yost. Thank you so much. Uh, what's not on my resume is the fact that back in 1991, uh, my wife and I, Charmaine, were or the house parents at the intern house here at the Leadership Institute. And at the time we had no children and one very large dog, Shadrach, who's got all the dog you have now. Now, uh, to start, uh, let me try to put you all in a box, if I may. Uh, assign you a label, if I could, by the most uh, uh, compelling label that you can have, which is the domain extension of your email address. You can either be a .gov, a .org, a .mil, a .edu, or a .com. Now, uh, in here, how many .govs do we have? If you're, if you're a .gov on your email address, okay, very good. If you're a .org, a nonprofit, .orgs, okay, any military, .mils, one, one .mil, excellent. And uh, 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 any academics, a .edu, 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 some, well, gosh, that's all I think. And, and dot e, thank you, dot edu, and then finally, businessforprofit.coms. Okay, very, very good, very good. Um, one of the things that, uh, that, is, uh, that, uh, that we talk about uh, with William Ockin, my uh, good friend and uh, a business partner for the Managing Management Time Seminars, is that this is like an operating system for business. This cuts across all disciplines and all industries, no matter what you do, no matter what your domain extension. And I've got a heart full of uh, information to give you in just a few minutes to do it. So I got 28 minutes left. Now, imagine, if you would, that you're on an island, you're lost on an island, and you're by yourself and you're growing tomatoes. And you have nobody to report to. You don't have any of those pesky office people. You don't have any peers, and you don't have any of these outside uh, voters or, or customers, and you don't have any staff to report to. You're by yourself. And you can do what you want, when you want, where you want. You're by yourself. You're alone. You could do anything that you wanted. But the moment that you get into an organization, that you join a group on the, as an entry level, as an intern, or you take a position on the mainland, or you know, on an island, and you join a group, your time is not your own. Your time belongs to somebody else. Now, uh, Ludwig von Beethoven said that time is man's noblest possession. Time is something that can't be inventory, that, uh, is, uh, that, is, that can't be preserved, and that once it's consumed, it's lost. Time is man's noblest possession. Now, one of the things that we need to do when we move from being an individual contributor, when we are by ourselves on that island, and join an organization where our time is not our own, we need, as we move that, make that transition, we need to learn to anticipate, adapt, and learn in the organization. And how we do that to get control of our time is what's called the molecule of management. Now, now I want to take a little different tack on the, the few minutes we have together and talking about time management, but more important than managing your time is I, to get the most out of that is how to manage your boss and your boss's time. 
Your boss is the most important person in your life because he directly affects your priorities on what you do. So time, time, your individual time is important and how you control it. A few things on your time management, of course, is that every time a piece of paper comes by your desk, you touch it once. Touch a piece of paper one time. And every time you touch a piece of paper, you do delegate or destroy. Touch a piece of paper one time. Uh, other time management tricks, of course, are just simply having vertical file folders instead of horizontal file folders put in a horizontal file.